welcome guys, you're watching Kanina's BS, that BS stands for Best Solutions. I am Kanina Johnson. I have my guest here, Karen Roseberry. Karen Roseberry is a candidate for the U.S. Senator. Karen is a California native who has spent the last seven years passionately to educate youth both in Antelope Valley and overseas. Having worked firsthand with students often high risk and low social economy areas, she believed that a strong foundation of values is most needed to improve conditions educationally, socially, economically, nationally, and internationally. With over 10 years in customer service, Karen realized the importance of working tirelessly to ensure the satisfactions of guests and carry that same work ethic in her desire to be the next U.S. Senator of California. Woo! It is her goal to end the extreme sense of dissatisfaction of the state. Uh, uh, because what has happened too long, she, she says too long before poorly, poorly represented by career politicians. So in other words, she is running because she wants to turn that around. She earnestly come before the candidates wishing to work the hardest on their behalf. She is seeking, she's actually seeking our petitions. She's seeking our vo uh, votes. Karen grew up near the South Bay area before moving with her parents to Antelope Valley. She has traveled a lot throughout the state. She has lived in both Los Angeles and Riverside counties and is actually actively involved with her church near the county of San Diego. Karen has also traveled to 17 countries, have taught in two village schools of India, and has visited 35 states, learning much about, you know, the, the blessings affordable to those in that country and state, and that could be so much better utilized with more effective leadership. And she is the effective leadership. Karen attended the University of Denver before returning to California to eventually graduate from California State the University of North Ridge with a bachelor and master degree in politician political signs get it right Kanina Karen said the time has come to vote for a candidate who does more than talk about change it is time for a candidate who is actually it's the change she said politicians and lawyers are the ones who have broken the systems and they are not the ones to fix it so Karen I first of all I want to say thank you for being a guest on my show it yeah, is an honor so much, well, yeah. it's a pleasure being here yes, thank you for having yes, me yes so why are you running for the U.S. Uh, Senator? I'm running for U.S. Senate for primarily three reasons, and there were some other motivations mm -hmm. in there as well. But Barbara Boxer, who's one of our current senators, is not running, so there's no incumbent. And I must say, I'm satisfied with that because I've not been satisfied with the job that she has done as senator mm -hmm. for my entire adult life. And I looked to see who was running, who wanted the job to replace her, and I didn't particularly care for the values, for the platform, for what was being supported by those candidates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As you read, thank you very much. My, my degrees are in political science. I, I've studied the values of our Constitution, and I think that they, they need to be better emphasized. And so I decided to put my money where my mouth is. I, I tell my students all the time to push forward and that they can pursue the opportunities that they desire. And so this has been something that I've kind of had up my sights on since I was a teenager as well and decided this was the opportunity to do it, especially because I think we need a voice yes. in the Senate mm -hmm. that, that's going to protect our liberties because I think they've been being encroached upon by very poor legislative action that needs to be corrected. And I know you, you talked a lot about values and uh, and you and you stated, you know, because I kind of did a little research on you. I appreciate you know, that. Yeah. yeah. You said what is off the miss is, you know, assessing process is to recognize that central to each of these individual. Um, so in other words, um, you want the voters to be more informed, you know, because a lot of times what you what you explain it, you explain it better. Sure. What you just said is entirely correct. We are a government by the people, of the people and for the people, but especially by the people. And sadly, the, the people have been poorly represented and have had a poor choice of candidates coming from party establishment. And here is their opportunity to get more involved and to be more informed. Mm -hmm. And, and the, those that are seeking public office need to inform the voters. 
there should be an opportunity to ask questions, which is why my contact information is on my website. Mm -hmm. I invite questions. I invite my policy to be explored. More often than not, when you look at a politician's website, their stance on the issues is about three sentences long, and it doesn't really articulate what they're trying to do, or it uses the same words over and over again, but without any real meaning. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to go back and actually say, wait a second, the people should be helping in the construction of policy on issues and getting that feedback and looking to see where it needs to be improved upon, where it needs to be adapted, where it needs to be reformed. And when you get party establishment putting forth candidates, they know it all, they have it all taken care of, and there's not involvement with the people like on a show like this, where yes. you can just talk with one another and get the people involved and informed. Yes, and I, I can tell Karen is very passionate about what she's saying. And I know you talks about save the future, the future stand, and you also have, you, you have a, a meaning for S, you have a meaning for A, you have a meaning for V, you have a meaning for E. Why don't you explain that, what you mean by save the future stand for? I would love to. Uh, save the future isn't an acronym. Uh, it stands for security uh, and improving our foreign policy. Uh, we need to make sure that we've strengthened our military. We need to make sure that we have a unwavering word in our negotiations so when we say something it actually means something in the international community and we need to support our allies because right now there is a power void that has occurred especially in the Middle East because the United States has not had these policies in place and countries like Russia that are essentially a bully are stepping in to fill that void and when Russia and Iran align that makes for a very unsafe unsecure nation and that needs to be corrected the A stands for accountability in our economic structures. We need to be responsible in our spending. We have an $18.7 trillion deficit in our, in our country. And until we rein in spending, especially at the federal level, much of the spending that takes place at the federal level should be taking place at local and state levels where there's accountability and responsibility. It's not the job of the federal government. The V stands for values, which we've talked mm -hmm. a fair bit about, yes. especially life, liberty, and opportunity, mm -hmm. and that need to be restored because, honestly, there have been legislative actions that have been going on for at least 20 years that have undermined those values. And the E stands for something very close to my heart as I've been involved in education. It's an excellence in education, and I think that that is going to essentially involve more parental choice, getting parents involved, and in a very large aspect, bringing education back to that local level. Education is better managed at the local level with parent involvement than at the federal level with entities that don't have a direct relationship with the people that are being educated and the students that are being educated. You know, Karen, I'm going to bring you back on for a segment, another segment, and we're going to talk about education a little bit more, and we're going to talk about... Ooh, we're gonna t yeah, because you're all about education, you're all about higher education, and so I want the, my audience to actually hear that, but before we go to commercial break, uh, give them, state your uh, website. Sure. I would definitely invite any viewers to take a look at these policy stance I have on the issues, and you can find that at Karen Roseberry for Senate.com. That's F-O-R, Karen Roseberry, F-O-R, Senate.com. All right, I want you all to stay tuned when you uh, when I come back. I got a great interview for you like always. Oh. 